Hi all, this is Dirk Hönig from Canoe. Welcome to another screencast um, in my channel. So today I'd like to share some experiences with Java FX 3D and Open Dolphin. You may have seen the container yard demo where we uh, manage containers and in container yards with Java FX 3D. And this is a very impressive demo and we have other clients with uh, similar requirements. But uh, the downside of that container yard demo is that uh, we cannot share the code, as with many other client projects. So I kind of uh, extracted the gist of, um, of what is really, of what we do in the, in the 3D world with Java FX 3D and Open Dolphin, and made a special demo for that. And this is the demo. So what you see here in the in the picture is uh, what we call a factory floor. You can assign any meaning to it. It is uh, 32 times 32 units in that system. Well, whatever meaning you attach to the units is totally up to you. How you can see like uh, pills in here, like um, like pharmaceutical product products, but uh, we usually have like machines on the factory floor or uh, similar stuff. Container yards, co containers in a container yard, if you want. Um, if you have a 3D scene like this, you typically want to move around. Like you, with, with uh, click and drag, I can tilt around the x-axis or around the y-axis, which goes upwards, and then I can zoom in and out. And that is, um, I, I use uh, pinch and zoom on my trackpad here zoom and pinch and so going in you can go really far in like so and see it very closely uh, or back up and uh, you can just as well have um, have this attached to a slider and you see the 3d scene that we have here uh, can easily be combined with typical 2d controls that you have anywhere else now, uh, Open Dolphin comes into play because uh, you typically have the you want, to have, want to run your application on the server. You have an enterprise application. The application code, without the visualization part, runs on the server. So you may want to see the latest data. And if you click refresh, you see data, and this data is in colors and in the heights of the various units. And this is. Um, almost random data, but there is some structure to the randomness, as you'll see. So if I do it again, and again, and again, and again, and again, it goes pretty quickly. You see we pretty we, we reach we reach around uh, 20,000 values a second, <coughs> which means like the, the 2,000 values that we need for every, uh, for painting each of these units, uh, one for the height, one for the color, for 24 units, uh, will be transferred in about 100 milliseconds. And that means that's faster than the recognition time of the human eye. So um, we, are, we are faster than you can look anyway. <laughs> so and that, that is typically good enough. And this is not running in memory. This is running against a real server. This is a Tomcat running uh, with Grails on it and all the enterprise stuff that you usually want to have. Uh, dependency injection and so on. Um, not only can you look into this uh, scene here, and let's let's go into this with the uh, go a little bit in like so, or even more. Um, click on it and yeah, have random data here, and and still you can go around and look at it from all the various angles, and still you can refresh it and see updates. Uh, you will also see, and that is typical for um, for Open Dolphin, when you select a certain um, unit here, that's the master view, so to speak, and here is the detail view, and here you see the values from the detail view. It is currently this one, the blue stands for empty, and if I refresh, um, it has gone to selected, which is the yellow color, and height of 10, and if I refresh again, you'll see another one. So you can easily lose track of um, the special ones that you're interested in. So let's uh, zoom out a little and say, well, I'd like to, uh, I'm interested in this yellow one specifically, so I click on it, and this red one, and maybe this uh, white one. 
Okay, so I have it over there. I may want to have it like so. And then if I refresh and refresh and refresh, I have it over here and then I can put them in this in their respective slot again. So this is all um timeline transit timeline animations and transitions as you uh would normally expect from JavaFX. It works just as easily in Java X FX 3D. So this is um the easy way. <laughs> And uh, second, I'd like to show you um, what happens if we update as fast as we can. Now we're starting the refresh and it will endlessly refresh. So uh, we can still rotate it if I drag on it. We could still uh, pick out special ones. If I command click one or the other, so, so that it goes out. And let's take one here and one in the back, like so. And they're still updating like crazy um, pretty quickly. And then put them back again. So um, the interesting part about 3D is that you're not only uh, you can look at it while it's uh, oscillating. You can say, well, I cannot really pick up the patterns in, in these numbers here. It would be interesting to pack it to pick up the numbers, uh, pick up the patterns. And the human eye is pretty good in picking up the patterns. So you would actually um, tilt it a little and tilt it like so. And maybe make it a little bit smaller to see uh, like in a factory floor, where are the ones that make problems and like uh, like so for example give it a little here we go so and then uh, have a look at it and you will see that the way that the the random numbers occur they they have like symmetric patterns in it so you can make use of what the human eye is good in and what the computer is good in to get a good overview and have a good monitoring of your factory floor. So uh, let's look at a little bit of the code. What we see here, for example, is um, we have these statistics, um, a presentation model values per second, where we update the, the, the rate and we have measured the rate before. So these statistics, I command click on this, is a client presentation model. It is filled here. It has a values per second attribute, the uh, statistics, and at some other place, especially in the in the control view, there is a binding that uses it. Values per second. It binds values per second of the statistics presentation model against the text of the rate field, and the rate field is this one, a label that is that is uh, residing in this special view. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you would like to see more about uh, Open Dolphin in JavaFX 3D, uh, please drop me a note. If you'd like to see the code, I'm happy to share it and um, keep coding. <laughs>